populations that a number of employees of the Ministry of Housing and Water were involved in corrupt practices at the ministry, only one employee was fired. And this is according to Susan Rodriguez, Minister within the Ministry of Housing and Water. Rodriguez said this was because of the lack of concrete evidence to support the other allegations made against the other employees. We did, we were able to get evidence on one employee. That's the one that, um, in relation to the statements I made, she was arrested. Um, she was questioned and I believe put on bail. The last I know is that the file is with the DPP. So I, I assume the police is waiting for the return of that file um, before charging her. She however said they were continuing with the investigations nevertheless. If people come forward and, and make um, accusations or allegations, we encourage them to provide, to provide us with some form of evidence so we can take um, definitive action in that regard. And just to say as well that many of the people who make complaints or allegations on social media are people who have given somebody, a middleman or a third party, money in exchange for land and have not gotten through. Further on the issue of the staff member within her secretariat, who was named as being involved in corrupt practices, Minister Rodriguez said it was because of his actions that the employee was terminated. That you say that I defended, I merely presented the facts. That employee was the employee that was approached by the other employee who was subsequently arrested. So he facilitated the investigation with the police. When she approached him to set up a scheme to help her to get house lots to allocate other people, he reported the matter to me. I advised him to report it immediately to the police. We called in the police. We gave all the information to the police and this thing was set up. So recordings were made and all of the evidence gathered um, that would lead to the arrest of the other employee. So the employee that I spoke publicly about is the one that was facilitating the investigation with the police. However, Senior Housing and Water Minister Colin Kroll said the only department authorized to allocate house lots is the Allocations Department. He said too that since the land for money scandal, the ministry has implemented new measures which allows applicants to follow up on their applications and that include online and in person. So when that is finished weekly, they take a note of those and weekly that is submitted and we have to do checks to see if these are all applicants, etc. That is why I was willful to mention that as a deliberate policy, we are moving to ensure that we are able to satisfy 2019 and prior. So you won't have all of this, oh, I'm 2016, or 2017 get before me, all of that. And the other thing is what we have noticed, and this is a fact, I'm a, as a minister, somebody will come, I walk everywhere, Persons will come to say, I'm a pending applicant, etc. You take note of the name. And that is why we have been able to ensure that we follow the years now. Because you take note of the name, but that also happens elsewhere. So we don't know what happens on the ground. So we have eliminated all of that. If persons are following up, it has to be the individual themselves. No third party is following up. Last year, several employees of the Ministry of Housing were named in a land for money scandal which saw persons coming forward and calling the names of persons who paid monies to facilitate the allocation of lands.